Hello, welcome to the studio. This week I'm doing really speedy little changes to pieces. Uh, it's a real um, mixture of things that I'm in the middle of, just beginning and finishing off. Um, so just adding little quick touches to make them better. Um, if you like what you see then do click like, subscribe to the channel and there's lots more on my website ruthander.co.uk including artwork to buy and also uh, video courses, self-paced video courses um, to learn how to hand monoprint. ruthander.co.uk So I've got a real hodgepodge of things I'm going to work on today, um, just lots of bits and pieces. So I've got these ones here that are, uh, I've done a little bit of work on but I need to do some more on. I've got this lovely piece here that I brought back from uh, Spike Print Studio. So this is a carborundum print with a bit of uh, collagraph as well. Um, I'm not going to do too much to that, but I'm going to add certainly add bits to it because I think it can be a really nice piece. I've got this one here, uh, which some of you might recognise as a cut down version, a cropped version of another piece. But I'm going to lighten the sky, I think, in that one. And then I've got a few others here. This is an old piece that hasn't quite worked out. I want to see if I can uh, sort it. Um, and this one too, this needs quite a bit of work. It's just kind of come off the press really. And the same with that one. And then I've got a couple of really old pieces here that um, have come back to me and I, I just want to re redo, probably add some dark areas. So that is what I am working on today. So I'm starting with this beautiful yellow colour and I'm actually going to use it on quite a few pieces. Um, so just rolling a bit out here and I'm going to add it to this piece here that's got quite a lot of kind of purple in it. So this is the complementary colour, it should make everything sing out, all the colours sing out a little bit more. I'm just using my trusty end of a knife, knife handle to make some lovely lines and they should be nice velvety monoprint lines. And there we go. Always remember to take your ghost print. So this has got some nice negative lines on it now. So I'm just putting a piece of tissue over the top, putting some pressure on the back. And there we go, we've got a nice ghost print. A Little bit more of that lovely yellow, just roll it out. And I am going to use it on this long piece here. Again, it's got quite a lot of purple in it. So adding some nice ochre colored yellow should make the colors zing out and sing out a little bit more. And then I'm using this light colour, almost white, just off white, and I'm going to add it to the top, to the sky of this piece here. And I'm just doing my usual thing of getting a nice roller of the colour and then rolling it over the top. This is my best roller and it does really nice even marks. And then I just roll it on and immediately the whole piece gets lighter. Kind of like painting. I'm going to use that light colour again to sort out the top of this one here. So this is kind of like a seascape with a dark cloud in it. Um, and I, again I'm going to roll over with my nice roller, should be fairly even roller marks. I'm just trying to get rid of some of the roller marks there to make it nice and soft. Just moving things out of the way so I've got a bit of space and this will soften up the whole piece. getting rid of any remaining roller marks there. And again I'm going to use the same colour here to lighten up the sky on this one. So while I've got each colour out I just use it on as many pieces as I can. I just sort of have them all in front of me so I can see which ones need what. Then I'm going to add some of this nice sort of greeny grey colour to this piece here. So like the whole of the foreground is sort of all one colour, which I don't really want. I want the background to kind of sink back a bit. So I'm going to make it a slightly different colour, a slightly bluer colour. 
and I'm just masking out here so that I don't get ink onto the sky because I really like the sky. I'm going to keep that a nice blue colour. And going back to that yellow again, I'm just going to literally press some kind of lines onto the horizon so it looks like light on the fields. And I'm not rolling, I'm just pressing in with the roller. And I'm going to do exactly the same here with this nice, very soft duck egg blue almost um, onto the horizon line, the kind of sea horizon line of this seascape. So again, I'm not really rolling, I'm literally just pressing in. And it kind of gives you, well I'm rolling a tiny bit, but basically it gives you a kind of line, a lovely coloured line. And I'm just having to hand roll the roller to get a bit more ink on there. So there we go, some very speedy little changes to make on pieces uh, that have moved them forward, which is all we really need.